Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So early next year, as I have posted previously, we are expecting Microsoft to roll out the next wave of new features for Windows 11 version 22H2, which will also be referred to as the Moment 2 update. And we did receive the Moment 1 update earlier on this year in October. And one of those um, key highlights that rolled out with Moment 1 was the tab support in the File Explorer. And there are a couple of other highlights we are expecting to roll out as new features early next year. So what I thought we could do in this video is just do a quick collate and summary of some of the key highlights that you may be interested in that will be rolling out possibly in the moment to update early in 2023. Now these will be listed in no particular order and this is by no means a comprehensive list but just some of the highlights and at this stage Microsoft hasn't officially confirmed any of these new features rolling out but it is suggested that we could see some some if not all of these roll out in moment two because they are currently being tested in the windows 11 insider program and some as posted previously are actually hidden features in the current stable version of windows 11. now um, in no particular order the first is animated icons in the settings app now currently in the stable version the settings app icons are not animated as many of you will know and if we just head to the first of a couple of screenshots, um, as posted previously, yeah, we could possibly see animated icons in the settings app. And Microsoft has previously referred to these animated icons as unexpected moments of joy with purpose. And we can possibly see those animations roll out across Windows 11 in moment to early next year. Now, the second is actually the first of two uh, new features that Microsoft could be rolling out for the taskbar in Windows 11 that are currently available only in Windows 10. And um, the first of those two new taskbar features is seconds in the clock uh, in the system tray in the notification area in the bottom right of the taskbar. And that is a feature that you can enable in Windows 10 and not currently in Windows 11. And um, heading to the next screenshot, as posted previously in the Insider program currently, um, in the settings app on the personalization taskbar page, there is now a setting being tested where you can enable show seconds in the system tray clock. And if we just zoom in here so you can see it in the video, there we have these seconds uh, in the system tray clock. And that was in build 25247, which is a dev channel build. So seconds in the system tray clock may be handy and useful for some users, possibly rolling out early next year. Uh, in 2023 and then um, if we head to the next screenshot um, there are expanded widgets that could possibly be coming and this has been tested and is being tested currently in the insider program where currently as many of you would know we only get a single widgets board in the stable version and with that expanded um, view in widgets if we just zoom in here so you can see it once again better in the video in the top right and um, you'll be able to expand the size of your widgets board by and, and, and minimize the widgets board by clicking on this toggle next to your profile picture. And we are also expecting to see third-party widgets start rolling out um, from the Microsoft Store that you'll be able to add to the widgets board in Windows 11 version 22H2. So that expanded view in the widgets um, possibly will become its own um, its own basically its own widgets board taking up a full screen and a full a full desktop and becoming a full desktop widget basically and you will have the option to expand and minimize that widget board and widgets board according to your own personal choice and preference and then moving on to the next is um as i just as i posted just the other day actually um we are expecting to get a real windows 10 search box uh in the taskbar and this is the second of the new taskbar features currently available in Windows 10 that we could see roll out to Windows 11. We're currently in the stable version of Windows 11 22H2. We get this um, search button, which is a elongated button with the fluent design. And at this stage, you cannot actually search in the button. It's just a button. And as many of you would know that you click on and opens up the search and the search box will be different. It will be very similar to um, how it currently is in Windows 10 where you can actually do a search and that will open up that search for you by typing into the search box and as we can see very similar just slightly rounded corners but very similar to how it currently is over on Windows 10 and then the last feature just to mention for the purpose of this video is if we just head back to the stable version and the task manager is the search box in the task manager which I have posted on previously 
but I think this will be rolling out um, for the task manager in the moment to update where we will get a search box at the top of the task manager and if we just head to uh, the last screenshot for the purpose of this video as mentioned previously you'll uh, you will be able to search through your tasks your process ids and so on and i think this will be a nice handy feature coming to the task manager as it'll just make searching through those running processes and tasks a lot simpler and easier and then the last is um, there will be better theme support where i um, currently in the stable version uh, the theme of the task manager will change to what your system is using where you will have the option to independently set that to light dark or use your system uh, setting for the theme so that's just a couple of as mentioned um, features we are expecting to see roll out in the moment to update rolling out early in 2023 and that's by no means a comprehensive list but just some of the key highlights that i thought you may be interested in so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one